Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Ableton Life Insider Tips. And this time I want to show you a cool trick how you can have the currently playing clip in a track shown in clip view. And also either if you are working in session view and you have tons of clips in your tracks with lots and lots of scenes and not all clips are visible like you see here, or you work in the arrangement view and you've got zoomed in so you don't actually see the whole arrangement that the currently playing clip is scrolled into view, which is really useful. So how can we achieve this? Well, so here's this thing where if I'm playing, say this clip, this is like the track status field. So this is where you can see if a clip is playing, so this would be shown when there's a clip playing that is unlooped. If I play this here, you can see that you've got this pie chart, which means it's a loop clip and it shows the amount of times it's been looped and the length. And there's also others that I'm not going to go into detail, but this area here below can be MIDI or key mapped. I'm going to key map this here for you. And so I'm going to go and to command K, control K for Windows. And then I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna use the U umlaut because that's not used in life and we have this in German keyboards. And then I can simply do this here as well. And I could do this for, for all the tracks. This is particularly useful as well uh, in a live performance setting, but not only. And then we can just go out of the mapping mode. And if I go into playback, and if I press the U umlaut, you can see that a clip is shown in the clip view. And if I press A umlaut, the clip in track 5 is shown. Okay, and I'm going to show you also how this works in the arrangement view, how it jumps there. And for this, I'm going to select the clip here. So it just plays from this position and I'm going to zoom in. Make sure I'm somewhere different. And if I press playback now and the A umlaut. And it jumped to this clip because that's the track that I had key mapped to be shown there. And we can see the clip down below here as well. So yeah, I think this is a very useful thing. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Also let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to cover on this YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.